Hi, I'm Tom from Mbox Serials, and in this video, I'm going to go over setting up the Unreal Bridge. So what is the Unreal Bridge? Well, we can bring up the um, web browser here. Now in the help section, it says that you can transfer mesh items, vertex maps, materials, and textures from Modo to Unreal. Once you get it into Unreal, you can actually transfer and make adjustments and actually transfer it back to Modo, but you are limited to just static meshes and vertex maps. Let's take a look at how we can install the Unreal Bridge. First thing we want to do is get the Epic Game Launcher. And from there, you'll see the marketplace. You click that. And this is where you can shop for plugins. And what we want to do now is type in Modo. And from here, you'll see two plugins. I got both the Modo Bridge and Modo Material Importer. The Modo Material Importer is for an FBX workflow. Basically, it means that if you are transferring assets from Modo to Unreal and you're using FBX, as you're exporting it, you have the option of using a PBR XML file. And that PBR XML file will contain the materials you need to bring into Unreal. And the way you bring that in is using this plugin. Now, the Modo Bridge also allows you to transfer the materials too. So you don't really need it. I guess if you are if you have a need to use the FBX workflow, this would be a good tool to have instead of this. But we're just going to focus on the Modo Bridge. So the next thing you want to do is already added it, but you want to add it to the cart and then purchase it. It's free, so don't worry about it. Just add it to the cart, purchase it, and it'll be in your library. As of this recording, the Modo Bridge for version 4.20 is not out. So you have to use an older version of the Unreal Bridge, which is 4.19. Once you have that installed, you go down and you'll see the Modo Bridge that you purchased and you click Install to Engine. Now I have already installed it and this is why this error message is popping up. But all you have to do is hit install, it'll install it into your engine 4.19 and then you can just launch it. We're going to create a new project. I'm going to choose no starter content just to keep things simple. And I'm going to pick a folder. It's going to be in my documents folder and I'm just going to click create a new folder and I'm going to call this Moto to Unreal. That's the folder I'm going to put the project in and I'm going to name it Moto to Unreal. And click create project. So now we have our nice starter scene. First thing we have to do is go into the plugin section and enable the modal bridge. So we're going to go to edit, go down to plugins, and in the install section you'll see the modal bridge plugin and then the modal material importer plugin. I already explained what we use the modal material importer for and we're not going to use it. So the only thing we're going to do is just enable just the modal bridge plugin. And once you do that, it's going to give you an Unreal Editor must be restarted for the plugin changes to take effect. Just hit restart button and just wait. Okay, everything started back up fine and we're going to close the plugin panel. And once we do that, we see a button here that says Moto Bridge. And what we're going to do is click that, go to settings. Click connect to server, which is looking for the server. So before we do that, we got to start the server and we have to go back to Moto. Now that we're back in Moto, what we want to do is go to the kits. We got the icon for the Unreal Bridge here. Click that, swing it over, let's pin it. And we're going to go to configs. In the config section, you can type in the address and the port. These are the default and I see no reason to change it so I'm just going to leave that alone. You can also have search subfolder so if you do have subfolders it'll look through it to see if you have the asset item, the same asset item names and identification number. So we do want that on. Now when you see it for the first time it should be displaying the item ID instead of the item name. 
and uh, I think it's better to use item name. It's just easier to read, you're not looking at a bunch of numbers, and it's just less confusing. So I would use item name instead. And once we're done with that, you can start the server. Now we can go back to the Unreal Engine and say connect to server. And we have that all connected now. All right, so now we need to test the bridge. So I have a scene file here. Let's see, call three spheres. And we have three balls here. And just to show you what happens in the, um, the shader tree material, we have three separate materials here. First one's using traditional. Second one is using principal. And the third one is using fiscally based. It'll be the same if you're using the Unreal Material too. But uh, the whole idea is that you'll see that once we transfer all three over, it doesn't matter what you select, it's still gonna go in the same way. Unreal only reads it one way, uh, which is to connect everything to their PBR material. Let's pay attention to what we're sending over. The red sphere, the green sphere, the blue sphere, the camera, and the directional light. Pay attention to the window and the camera positioning because when we go into Unreal, you'll see that it's, it should it should match up. So we're gonna hit the push all button right now. And we are now in Unreal. Okay, so we have our three balls, and now let's go to the camera. And we got the same camera position. Now we, we started off with the ground geometry before, so we can just kind of turn that off. And we have this. So let me slide this over and dock it to the side here. Dock this to the side here. Look at the camera and the ball side by side. And they're in the same position. When we transfer over, there's a content folder here. And in the content folder, we have the materials and the mesh. Now, if we have textures connected to it, now if we have textures connected to it, we would have a texture folder with the texture maps in there. If you remember, we had one material that was set to physical, one was set to principal, one was set to traditional. Let's take a look at each one. So here's the blue one. Subsurface is connected. Got the color, the fuse, specular, yada yada yada, emissive color. So this is the Unreal material. Something to take note of is that um, you kind of have to change the shading model. It's set to subsurface, and those balls are not subsurface. You have to go to each one of the Unreal material and set it to default layer. Save it. Close. Let's go to the green material. Oh, same thing. Default lit. Save. Close. Red material. Same thing. Default lit. Close. That's about it. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I will see you next time.